Bulldogs were once aggressive and brave dogs, bred for bull baiting. In time, they evolved into the docile and friendly companion dogs we see today. But they still retain the courageousness and alertness that these dogs once needed. They've come a long way since their days as fighters, and the modern bulldogs are proof. There are so many types of bulldogs, each with their own unique characteristics and charm. In fact, plenty have unfortunately already gone extinct. In this video, we've compiled a list of the 10 most popular and unique bulldog types. Number 10. Bull Mastiff Believe it or not, the Bull Mastiff is a bulldog type. In fact, it's right there in their names. They're a cross between the English Mastiff and the now extinct Old English Bulldog. As a result, they have retained all the best qualities of both parents. These dogs were called the Gamekeeper's Night Dog because of their past jobs. In the mid-19th century, the English elites owned many game preserves, which were large lands of game where hunters could safely hunt in controlled environments. This means that the game preserves were high targets to poachers. The aristocracy needed a dog that would fiercely protect their property from outsiders. So that's exactly what bull mastiffs did for them. Needless to say, they were excellent at their jobs. Number 9. English Bulldog the English Bulldog is where it all started. Historical evidence points to these dogs first being developed in the 13th century in England. Back then, they were primarily used for blood sport, that is, bull baiting. Once ferocious, fearless, and tenacious dogs, English Bulldogs were thrown into a pit of angry bulls to battle it out. In fact, that's where they got their name, Bulldogs. With their strong jaws, a bulldog would taunt and pin down the animals in front of spectators. It was truly a grim sport that's fortunately banned all over the world. Today, English Bulldogs are not the same dogs as they once were. After the ban, there were still many Bulldogs all around the country, so breeders started breeding for temperament. The more gentle and calm English Bulldog became a hit with families in England. As such, the breed gained international attention and eventually made its way outside the country, where the dog was further developed into the Bulldog types we have today. Number 8. American Bulldog the American Bulldog is the classic all-American canine that demonstrates superb endurance, strength, and agility. They're direct descendants of the English Bulldog, though they're slightly bigger and stronger than their ancestors. Back in the early 19th century, overseas Bulldogs first arrived in the United States. However, few historians estimate that they've been in the country since the 17th century. Evidently, the breed was developed to have qualities more in line with farm work. The American Bulldogs have several jobs as companions for farmers and ranchers. These multi-purpose working breeds guarded lives stock, caught feral pigs, and also did some herding. They were essential to farms in the 19th century. Number 7. French Bulldog As great as American and English Bulldogs are, the French Bulldog has been the most popular Bulldog type breed. Also known as the Frenchie, these dogs were bred down in size to serve as attractive companions, suitable for most families. It was during the Industrial Revolution in England when Frenchies first started popping up. They were popular toy-sized companions that could easily live in the small apartments of lace makers in Nottingham, England. However, as the hub for the lace making industry shifted to northern France, many of the workers had to relocate. As such, they brought their toy-sized bulldog companions with them, and in the rural areas of the lace factories, Frenchies became Came a huge hit. Number 6. Old English Bulldog Originally developed in the 1970s by David Levette, the Old English Bulldog was meant to be a throwback to the 18th century Bulldog. Levette wanted to breed a Bulldog that retained the looks, health, and athleticism of the old Bulldogs. Levette began to crossbreed the English Bulldog with the Bull Mastiff, the American Pit Bull Terrier, and American Bulldog. The result provided an athletic Bulldog that had all the physical qualities of the past bull baiting dogs, but a sweet temperament. In order to distinguish his line from others, Levette called his dogs the Levette Bulldogs, although they were often misspelled as B U L L D O G G E S. However, when the UKC finally recognized these dogs in 2014, they officially named them Old English Bulldogs. Number 5. K.D. Bao The K.D. Bao is a bulldog-type breed that hails from the island Majorca. 
off the eastern coast of Spain. Like their distant relatives, they're muscular and large bulldogs that were originally bred for bull baiting and guarding. Today, the modern Kede Bull is primarily a family companion, often used as a guard dog in the home. These dogs had a rough past, though. Historians believe that the ancestors of these dogs were on the brink of extinction after World War II. Number 4. Alano Español also called the Spanish Bulldog, the Alano Español originates from Spain, like the Quede Bull. They were bred to be catch dogs, hunting companions, and guard dogs. In the past, they even served as bull baiting dogs in Spanish bullfights. Alano Español dogs are believed to have arrived from the Iranian tribe, called Alani. They were a nomadic tribe that migrated to Spain during the 5th century. As such, they brought these dogs with them on their journey out west. It didn't take long for the Spanish Bulldog to become highly sought after in Spain. Spain. Shortly after, the Alano Espanols became widely used by Spanish explorers. In addition, Alanos became war dogs during the subjugation of native Indians. Number 3. Australian Bulldog Though the Australian Bulldog resembles his English cousin, there are obvious influences of other breeds, such as boxers. And as the name says, this Bulldog type originated from down under in Australia, circa 1998. Australian Bulldogs were first developed by Noel and Tina Green, the founders of an Australian breeding program. Their goal was to develop a functional Bulldog that was more suited for the harsh environment of Australia. Of course, the main breed used for this Bulldog was the English Bulldog. However, other breeds such as the Boxer, Bull Mastiff, and Stratfordshire Bull Terrier were used. The result was a Bulldog with less wrinkles and longer limbs, at least physically. Number 2. Alapaha Blue Blood Bulldog No, the Alapaha Blue Blood Bulldog doesn't have blue blood, though that would be something spectacular. Rather, they were called Blue Blood Dogs because they were believed to represent a noble breed, at least according to the original breeder. The breeder, named Papa Buck Lane, is responsible for the Blue Blood Bulldog. He began by breeding his favorite dog, named Otto, through several generations, all named Otto. Even as Buck Lane passed away, his granddaughter continued the tradition. Physically, the Alapaha is bigger and stronger than the English Bulldogs. Plus, they were bred to have excellent work ethic. Number 1. Victorian Bulldog the Victorian Bulldog is a friendly bully type, largely credited to Ken Mullet in the 1980s. These dogs have had a long history, dating back to the Victorian era. Because of this, Mullet wanted to bring back the Bulldog of the iconic era. He used the combination of the English Bulldogs with Bull Terriers, Stratfordshire Bull Terriers, and the Bull Mastiffs. Not only did he develop a breed that appeared slimmer to the old Victorian dogs, but also created a much healthier Bulldog. Victorian Bulldogs are slightly taller, thus not as wide as the typical Bulldog type. They have fewer breathing problems, which is a concern for many brachycephalic breeds. That concludes our video of the 10 most popular and unique Bulldog types. Which Bulldog breed is your favorite? Let us know in the comments. We'd love to hear from you. And if you like this video, then subscribe and turn on notifications so you'll be the first to know when a new video comes out. Thanks for watching and we'll see you all next time.